Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dark Rain. Alright, let's go collect, uh, get this base. Yay! <laughs> all right, so we did all right. Now, like I said, these battles are all already done. They are already won. I'm only replaying them to show that how good I am at playing this game. And insert all the comments underneath saying I suck at this game. Not the point. Not the point at all. I just have to convince Joker, not you. A small Freedom Guard attack force struck the Imperium installation in the dead of night. The light Imperium sentry detail guarding the facility was quickly dispatched, and the Freedom Guard was able to hijack a substantial water load before Imperium reinforcements arrived to expel them from the area. Jeb Radek, the Freedom Guard officer who planned and led the raid, was elected to the Synod and became one of the primary commanders of the movement. This is indeed true. And we have unlocked the first thing. And you can see here. Now, there's only 12 missions, so this shouldn't take too long depending on the missions, but we'll see. Next up, Poison Sky. In 2598, the Imperium developed an experimental atmospheric processing device in order to accelerate the development of habitable ecosystems. When tested, however, the device malfunctioned and caused catastrophic biological devastation on the trial world of Perlin, and the planet was quarantined. Over a century later, the Freedom Guard landed on the planet's surface and determined that Perlin's atmosphere had recovered to a state where it could support life. They intended to establish a clandestine base here, believing that the Imperium would continue to ignore the planet. However, the Imperium had similar ideas and already begun constructing fortifications on Perlin. The Freedom Guard landing party clashed with the Imperium forces already on the planet. Well, again. Alright, the Freedom Guard forces met with a nominal Imperium force while attempting to develop the base. They appear to be re-established Imperium presence on the planet. If they can be dispatched quickly, the Imperium may attribute the disappearance to ongoing biological contamination and suspend further investigation. Need to establish a base, destroy the Imperium power generator to the north, assemble the strike force and demolish the Imperium base. Alright, let's get going. Construction underway. You sure? Construction underway. I don't know if there's any tail on around, but that's fine. New units available. That's not really an issue at the moment. Right now, I just need some power and some water, and I'm good to go. Construction complete. Unit completed. Construction complete. Alright, let's get some basic stuff going. Unit completed. Construction underway. Now the enemy could quite literally come from anywhere. So setting up a uh, unit generation in progress. A defense is gonna be a bit tricky, because I have no idea where to go. Yeah, I could put up the decoy buildings, but it doesn't seem uh, worth it. Also, don't really need bridges. All right. Well, for now, I'll just set up a turret over here. All right, and now we have access to the uh, the scout. So let's build a couple. Unit completed. And I'll order you to scout. Which is another feature I kind of like in this game. Because it means I don't have to micromanage everything. Right, let's also build a uh, another truck. Freighter. And let's set up a little bit of a defensive force. The base. 
Alright, so we here we have an enemy turret. I mean, this map isn't all that big, but... Alright. Unit completed. Unit completed. So, we have a tail on field over there that could be useful, but it's not immediately necessary. And we also have access to the skirmish tank, which is sort of the mainstay battle tank for the uh, Freedom Guard. Somewhat expensive. Well... Probably more cost effective than the spider bikes at this stage. Unit complete. Set to go. Yeah. Hit it. Unit complete. Now, at the moment I can't really do anything right particularly special because I don't really have the uh, completed. the equipment for that yet. Uh Unit completed. Where to? Let's roll. They kind of just set the rally point this way. Unit completed. All right, that sort of works. I right, just keep on building stuff. Unit generation in progress. Unit completed. Now, I'm a little bit cagey of the enemy defenses because, well, they're... they are tougher than they appear. Yeah. Unit completed. Alright. Construction underway. Unit completed. Alright, I think that's probably fine for now. Let's just Let's move out. Let's roll. Squad two. Let's move. Unit and let's get another batch of the raiders Squad going. One. Squad two. Squad one. Construction complete. Let's move. Squad two. Collect some tail on and let's roll. You go collect Turn some two. tail on. Set to go. Hit it. Unit generation in progress. Yeah. Hit it. Enemy Where engaged. to? Unit completed. Where to? Right away. Set to go. Let's move! Unit completed. Where to? Right away. Ready. Well, at least the right units away. are smart enough to retain their orders. Engaged. Unit Ready. completed. Let's roll. Set to go. Squad one. Hit it! Squad Hit it! Four. Yeah, uh, here's. Uh, I have a slight disadvantage with the terrain because the enemy can go over water, whereas I need to make use of these passes. Well, I can't get up these cliffs. And I have reserves.
right? No, no let's get that construction rate, please. Right away, right away. All right. Set to go. Unit completed. Hit it. All right, right spider away. bikes, go. Unit completed. Right away. Right away. Right away. Sitting on a power plant here. Are you nuts? Unit completed. Right. Unit generation in progress. Unit yeah. completed. Right away. Enemy engaged. Alright, let's set the building exit points to over there, because otherwise they'll keep interfering with my uh, generators. Unit completed. Where to? Let's move. Alright. Let's go and take out that water. Unit completed. Because as far as I know, I don't think the enemy cheats, but... It doesn't hurt to just take away their power, or uh, their money, anyway. Alright, got some more right water away. over there. Right away. Make sure that the enemy does not get that. And plasma tanks. Spider bikes can climb up cliffs, which is partially why they're called spider bikes, I think. Alright. I think we've got this in the back now. Uh, whoops. Still has a base somewhere. Pretty sure I took everything out. Hit it. Let's roll. Squad two. Let's roll. Mission successful. Yay. Your successes are encouraging. Forge ahead. Yay. Historically, the Freedom Guard contingent on Perlin ambushed the Imperium and routed them before the Imperium troops could contact the command ship. Attributing the squad's disappearance to Perlin's atmosphere, the Imperium ceased exploration of the planet. The Freedom Guard was able to establish a base on the planet that remained one of their primary fortifications throughout the conflict. Sweet. Let's head over to the archive because our journal will have expanded because of each mission. Uh, let's go to this entry. Entry level, uh, entry 110-15 in the year 2712. This game of war is alien to me. I fumbled to command these machines, these tools of destruction. Control escapes me. They slip through my fingers like sand, but I will learn. I will master these weapons. I will bend them to my will. I am consumed with the motivation I have never known. A new force grips me. A diamond shall spike fire in the bowels of my soul. I now know the savage power of hatred. Ow. 
a little bit edgy there. I mean, that, that is one of the things that the um, archives do tell. The Tograns, while having fantastic technology, although never quite reaching to whatever Togra managed to um, invent, were never really uh, warlike. So they were completely trounced by the sheer numbers and determination of the Imperium and Freedom Guard, presumably. Togran, the next. Let's see, let's see. All right. Entry 121-25 in the year 2712. I tried to circumvent the inscription key, but the probe's mechanisms are incomprehensible to me. In fact, it doesn't seem to have any mechanic mechanisms at all. The core of the probe is made of some inexplicable form of matter. I hesitate to even call it that. It's opaque, but somehow colorless. It seems to resist my gaze, as if it rests always in the blind spot of my eye. It has no texture or temperature. In fact, I am only aware of I am touching it by the complete lack of sensation wherever I come in contact, into contact with it. It's almost as if the substance is actually denying its own existence. My instruments can detect no electric, chemical or atomic activity in the material. No light, no sound, no emissions, no motion, no energy of any kind. And yet, somehow, it has taken control of my ship. My power reserves are untapped. Life support continues to function, although my entire onboard support system is offline. The navigation systems no longer respond to my commands, yet the ship moves safely through space on its own. Not that it matters. It's not as if I have anywhere to go. That's a very bleak idea, but you know, fit. Let's go back. Alright, so another slice de decoded. Prison break. The Imperium operated a detention camp in the barren marshland region of the Rent. A number of Freedom Guard prisoners were confined there, along with some more infamous civilian criminals from around the galaxy. Imperium, Imperium biotic researchers were using the prisoners for genetic experimentation. Among those held in the compound was Freedom Guard Commander Jeb Radek, who led the water raid on Elsine. The Freedom Guard assaulted the camp in an attempt to recover Radek and, and the others. We have discovered the location of an internment camp on the uninhabited planet Rent. Commander Radek is being held there. It's also believed that the Imperium scientists are performing genetic experiments on the prisoners in the compound. The prison is located in a desolate swamp, so access routes are limited. Rescue the prisoners and destroy the compound. Leave nothing standing. The message must be clear. We will bear their oppression no more. We have to free all the prisoners, build up an assault force, and liberate the commander Radek, destroy the compound. We will do. Reporting. We have one scout and a bunch of raiders. That's not much of a force. Alright, so I'm gonna save that here, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be screwed if I don't yes. do that. Now, I won't send out the scout to just Control. scout because then I will lose her. Yes, on the way. I mean, I might do that anyway. Now, part of this particular mission is to circumvent the enemy. enemy. Alright, so let's... We've actually been given some technologies, but only for the scouts. She can now morph into units. Or look like foliage. Which the enemy cannot detect unless they have a detector with them. Alright, and that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.